So AOC was speaking to Ta-Nehisi Coates, and she drops a bomb and basically says what we already know, but AOC saying it has a lot of weight because she has a lot of supporters and followers who are of the Hillary ilk, as well as she has done quite a, a tough job of trying to keep those people in her camp, um, at least prior to endorsing Bernie Sanders. But let's go ahead and hear her out. You know, in what you said earlier, too, I wanted to go back um, to what you said about our left party. We don't have a left party mm. in the United States. Mm. The Democratic Party is not a left party. Mm. Mm. Um, the Democratic Party mm. is a center or center conservative party. Mm. We do not advocate for, we do not, we can't even get a floor vote on Medicare for all. Mm -hmm. Not even a floor vote that gets mm -hmm. voted down. Mm -hmm. We can't even get a vote on it. Mm -hmm. So this is not a left party. Mm -hmm. There are left members inside the Democratic Party mm -hmm. that are working to try to make that shift happen. Mm -hmm. um, but you're right, it does convey a certain uh, sentiment about true believers. Mm -hmm. And, um, and there are a lot of true believers in that we can capitalism our way out of poverty. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm in the Democratic Party. If mm -hmm. anything, that's probably the majority. Right. Um, and that's an area in which I agree with Dr. King mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that that assessment is flawed. Mm -hmm. um, so a couple of interesting points there. One, I, I, I couldn't stop. I couldn't help but laugh at Tani Hisi's because uh, that he kept doing that. I thought that was funny. But anyways, to the actual point that she's making, she's obviously correct. But I really wanted to amplify this because we need to work towards taking over the Democratic Party. We need to stage a hostile takeover of the Democratic Party in which uh, we have more progressives like AOC. Think of the squad, right? We're not counting Ayanna Presley because she's not a real squad member, uh, so not counting her. But, you know, the squad plus a couple of others, right? You've got AOC, you've got Ohan, you've got Rashida, and you've also got Ro Khanna. Um, and you've also got Pramila Jayapal. So, you know, you've got like a good group in there. Now, each wave of elections that we get. Now, as you guys know, how long are House seats? Two years. So that means House seats are up for re-election every single two years. Okay, Senate seats, uh, they're six-year terms. So there's only one-third turnover every election cycle. Whereas the House is a full turnover, right? So we need to keep adding to that wave every single time. And if we manage to get Bernie Sanders in the highest office in the world, which is the presidency, that will be an absolute game changer for everything. Because it'll mean we'll have a massive progressive in the White House. Then you're going to have people in the House. Then we're going to get some more people in the Senate and the House. And we absolutely need to do that. And I, I do agree that the idea that we need more capitalism than we already have now is definitely not the case. Um, now, I'm not a socialist, obviously, and I don't think AOC is either, but uh, definitely don't need more capitalism. And clearly, the sort of ideology of your Nancy Pelosi's and whatnot is does seem to be this kind of, you can capitalism your way out of this problem, which doesn't make sense. Obviously, that's because she's doing real well, and so she's kind of content with that. But we've got to move towards socializing medicine obviously getting uh, universal health care medicare for all through uh, we've got to make college free you know what i'm saying so we got to do all of those kinds of things to benefit our society to make our country better that's what we absolutely need to do and she is right democratic party is not really left wing and i find it really funny when people like not only is it not a left-wing party, but people like to equivocate people like Bernie Sanders, like to equate people like Bernie Sanders and Nancy Pelosi as if they're even close to the same thing. And then you take into account that in a non-Overton window scenario, uh, the left wing is like, you know, socialists, communists, anarchists, you know, all those uh, loony far lefty ideas, right? That's the left in a non-Overton window scenario. But even Bernie Sanders doesn't reach that. And it's like, wow, okay. We really are not that left wing in the Democratic Party if a social Democrat, a Scandinavian-style social Democrat, um, 
is considered, you know, left. And then you've got the majority of the party being people like Nancy Pelosi who are even less left-wing. And it's like, wow, that's kind of mind-blowing. So there are uh, some candidates who are running, and I really recommend you go and support them uh, because we need more people in Congress who are real progressives if we want to take over the party.